In this third example of going from parametric equations to Cartesian equation, um, I really want to identify some of the problems that can be found. So here is an example where I've got x is equal to 1 over 3t minus 1 and y is equal to t squared. So one thing that I saw, see a lot of students trying to do is this, where t squared equals y is rearranged to get t is equal to root y, and then I substitute that directly into here, and I get x is equal to 1 over 3 root y minus 1. Now, the problem with that is, well, when you square rooted the t, that really should bring about a plus minus. So really, there should be a plus minus there, and a plus minus here. And, but this is really two equations now, two separate equations that I need to work with. It's cumbersome and not really very pretty whatsoever. There is a much better way. So, instead of doing that, if I rearrange the first equation, so I'm going to multiply both sides by the 3t minus 1, divide both sides by the x, I can rearrange it to get that, then add 1 to both sides, and then divide everything by 3, Okay, so that's looking a little bit nasty at the moment. So, what's that? If I multiply top and bottom by x here, I get 1 over 3x plus x over 3x. So, that's 1 plus x over 3x. That's looking quite nice. And then, I can substitute this into the second equation. So, y is equal to 1 plus x over 3x squared. And that is much easier to work with. It's one equation and looks a lot nicer. Okay, so the way round that you rearrange your equations to get to a Cartesian equation sometimes does matter, um, especially in cases like this. So just be wary. Try and keep away from square rooting if you can.